It's blinking. Okay, we're back with Ilana here. And you can see I've got her shampooed. I put a little sculpting lotion in her hair just to hold this sh uh, hair out of the way while I uh, section off what I'm going to do to her here. What I'm going to do is find that flat of the head. That will tell me where her hair is going to be shorter and where that longer hair will start. Even in this neckline, we'll do the same thing. You can see right here is where we're going to section this off. And the same thing with this side, too. You can see she had previously had this cut shorter on the underneath, which removed a lot of the bulk, which is really a great thing to do on these asymmetric cuts. So this tells me right here what's going to come off. We're going to rearrange this haircut. And she had such a cute haircut to begin with. I'm going to try really hard to make it better. And it's just such a good head of hair. Uh, Ilana's hair was very razored and texturized on this pre-lightened hair. But what I'm going to do this time with her is use a seven tooth notcher, which will really cut this uneven and give her that texture that she wants um, and actually make this hair lay down a little nicer. It cuts it a little uneven, which is ideal when you want this texture. And you can see how thick and coarse this hair is. Uh, so going in and taking some of this out. Not a lot on this side because this side actually was behaving pretty good. I think one of her problems in her haircut is her neckline is very stubborn and it's either better super super close or some length on it. We've decided to leave some length on it because it does give her a little fringy edge and it's a little more feminine. And taking these seven tooth notchers, touch it a little bit, going in and lifting up and taking that, that weight in the middle and not touching that neckline will still keep her length, but hug her neckline a little closer. Uh, I'm going to start with this side over here because this is the side we want to take some of this weight out. Uh, she had such an extreme asymmetric, which was really, really cute on her. Uh, but we want a little more versatile shape. So taking some of this weight out and taking some weight out at the top of hers will allow her to be able to comb it differently. It'll be a little more versatile. Um, and when you've had long hair, that's the only drawback. Sometimes women feel like short hair is not as versatile. But with this shape that's so flattering, leaving length on the top and closeness on the sides gives you that option of changing your hairstyle when it's short. So uh, I think taking it off with this leaves these edges soft. I'm just taking some of that length out. And this will really be about where we want that top layer to fall. Um, this can actually be a little closer right in here. I can go ahead and take a little bit more because you can see what these notchers do. It looks like I'm cutting a lot, but it's cutting chunks out. And on her thick hair, it's just ideal. And especially on this bleached hair. Blonde hair is just not as forgiving. You can't hide any mistakes. You see any flaw in this hair if it's choppy or blunt or just not blended. So it's nice having the texturizers to do this. Tilt your head down a little bit more because right in the middle you can see where her hair grows really strong this way. And after leaving that there and taking it out of the middle, it'll just give her a better shape, a better silhouette in the back. And Ilana's head is not very round right here. You can see it's not as definitive. So leaving some length in that crown or at the round of her head will give her a nicer uh, shape head. Now you can see pulling that down, I'm running out of hair on that side because it was so short. But this is the side I want to take the hair off. And I'm going to do that by bringing this hair up and to the side that she parts. That way it'll create shortness here and still live length to this side. And I actually am going to direct it back a little bit more, not so much in the front. Because we want the crown a little shorter. And you can see, after just taking off this little piece here, still retains a lot of her length in the front. And her hair being so thick, it can take a lot of texturing and razoring through the top. You can see that did not take as much as it looked like it was going to because it was so over-directed. Now, I'm going to pull this here. Slide cut some of this off right here because we want to establish our length first before we go into any texturizing in here. And you can see what I don't like as much is this covering up her great cheekbones. She's got such a pretty face. 
and I feel like some of this is hiding it. Still point cutting, we don't want any blunt ends on here. Now, that's going to hit her at a really pretty length here. Going in and taking a little bit more off of that top of the ear, which will make her asymmetric look hang more to the side here and not over her ear. You can see from the side, already a better shape. Now I've determined the length. We're going to go in and take some of this layering off, and I'm going to start to this side with some point cutting on these edges. And I think bringing everything to this point retains the length in the front, and it keeps your shortness in the crown where you want this hair to stand up. After taking this off the top, her options will be endless. She can do this hair up and away. She can do that faux hawk. She can have much more texture and lift because I think what's important even on her shaped face is there are volumes in this top and it's close on the sides. I think that's the most flattering look on it, Ilana, whether her hair is short or long. You gotta take in consideration that the shape of the face and it's gotta be flattering. Point cutting into this, taking off that length. You can see where I've, leaving that length in the front even going back to the crown, making sure that's going to be short enough. And I'm almost traveling slightly here. I'm not bringing everything back to this, to this part. I'm traveling slightly to the middle now, just point cutting this off. Now I'm still bringing this, stuff, this section here to the middle, not traveling as much. I think when you cut with these uh, point cutting and doing this razor, it's all about, you know, having that freedom to give it a shape, not being so perfect. There's nothing worse than a, a perfect haircut. You want this hair to be very textured and slightly asymmetric is always flattering to the eye. I think it's ideal. It's best on a, a square shape or a round face. Um, even a narrow face can wear an asymmetric if it's more of a bob shape. Now you can see already she had these little great little short bangs. Still keeping some of that, but I think what really has made a difference is I've taken this weight out where it needed it. Still, after taking this underneath shorter, we have that little disconnection, which is really good because it creates the look of having length without being bulky through the sides or heavy. The hair will fall into place so much easier when she dries it, uses her hands, even when she flat irons. Um, it's just it's a little more flattering. Now I've got her basic shape in here.